Hello, welcome back. To, oh, there you go, that was not my choice of music. That's whatever the radio was playing. Okay, good morning. Let me just get out of this space real quick. Someone's really sandwiched me in here. So it's gonna be a 1,000 point manoeuvre. But it's all good. We've got our trusty parking sensors to assist. There we go, let's go. Good morning, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Um, I've got you mounted on the windscreen today um, just for a little intro as we're driving to a garage to get something exciting done to the car. I say exciting, I don't know, would normal people say that a oil service is exciting on a car? I don't know, I mean, I'm really excited about it. So basically we were contacted by a local garage, um, actually over on my Instagram page they sent me a message and they said they've recently taken over this business, it's a family run business and now their family has taken it over um, and they've offered to service the car today. They said if we wanted to come down and shoot a bit of content with them, obviously it's going to be great for us to get in the car service. So um, it's a little collaboration with them today and also they're going to be doing sort of a deep inspection, a full vehicle health check and so it'll be good to sort of be able to really chat with the guys here and get a deeper understanding of what we've got to play with um, with the Range Rover with the R322. Uh, again thanks so much for the support on the video so far, this is number five. Um, and one to four so far. I've just been blown away by the lovely comments and the support and the help, um, people's opinions. A lot of people have got L322s that watch this channel. I asked that in the last video, what's the reason you're watching this video? And a ton of you have got L322s that are looking to buy one yourself. It's amazing knowing there's such a supportive community here of like-minded people that also love the L322 or Range Rovers in general or Land Rovers, um, which is awesome. So um, welcome back to another video. I've got an exciting trip planned in the car. I'm taking her to France. We are going on the Euro Tunnel uh, very soon. So um, if anyone's got any tips on that, on um, do's and don'ts, driving in France, what you need, what you don't need. Um, we, I've bought a little um, AA kit off of Amazon with sort of a UK sticker, the warning triangle, the high visibility vests and things like that. Don't think you need the breathalyzer anymore. So we haven't got that. I've just pulled into Motorsense here, which is where we have come to get the car service. It's gonna be good because they know we're filming today. So um, we're gonna be able to really go into depth and we can maybe film in the workshop a little bit, see them doing some of the servicing and we're doing a full oil service, changing some filters. I was just talking then of the car but my phone cut me off. I was just using my phone quickly as a quick intro and and I was just asking for some advice on this France trip. Like I said, if anyone's got any advice on sort of do's and don'ts, we were looking into doing some green laning in France, but I was reading a forum and I think it's been banned. I don't know if I've made that up, but someone on a forum seems to think that it's not a thing anymore, so that won't be possible. Hopefully we can take some really nice roads. I don't think we'll be going in sort of into deep France, like too far in because we've got a little baby and um, it just won't be possible on this trip, but it's gonna be really good. We've got some fun stuff planned. Let me know if you want a little vlog from that trip. We can do a video sort of the drive and taking the Euro Tunnel. We're going from where they to Folkestone, Folkestone I think is how you say it. It's about a two hour drive. And then we're taking the Euro tunnel over and then we'll be in no ways and then we'll be doing a little drive into France as well. So super excited for that. Um, yeah, so back here at Motorsense, we came and visited these guys the other day just to chat about this little collaboration. They've done the workshop up really nicely. They've got plans to expand and get another ramp fitted. If you guys are in the area, if you're in need of any sort of servicing work, we'll let you know how we get on with these guys. It's all looking really good so far. We're gonna head inside now. I think they're starting the car sort of when we get here so we can get some shots and things in the workshop. They're about to grab the Range Rover and pull it into the garage. And apparently the guy that's doing the work has um, said it's okay to film a few bits and um, get him on camera a little bit and he can talk us through sort of the ins and outs of what's been done today. And also they've said that we're gonna, eventually we're gonna get some new tires put on the car and we've sort of got our eyes on which ones they are. Because we've got this road trip next week and um, we haven't sorted the tires out yet, we are also gonna get it tracked today and have the tracking sorted because currently you're driving it in a straight line and your hands are sort of like this on the wheel. So um, we're gonna get the tracking sorted so that it's at least driving in a straight line, not drifting off at all. I think they're gonna do all four wheels as well just so that it's solid for the trip. And we've also got a trip to Wales coming up soon as well. So again, if you've got any advice on Wales, let me know in the comments. I think we're gonna be racking up the miles on this thing. It just feels like the perfect road trip car. I don't know about you guys. If you've been on any epic road trips, I'd love to hear about them because I think it's just sort of the perfect car to take on a road trip. There's so much space and it's actually just so much fun to drive. So we're about to get the car and bring it into the workshop and um, Tom's gonna be the technician who's gonna do the full oil service and the vehicle check. So he's agreed to be on camera. He's got a beautiful singing voice by the sounds of it. We've had um, a little preview sat here in the waiting room. <laughs> Tell 
music off, which is obviously not ideal, but YouTube doesn't let us have any music that's um, real music. But this is Tom, and Tom's going to be doing a service me, on yeah. the Range Rover today. Um, can you just give us a little rundown of like what's involved in the service, and you're doing a vehicle check as well? Yes. Um, so, sort of what happens. basically on a service, you'll have a book my garage sheet, Yeah. and it'll basically go through and list all the things sure. that we've got to go through. So it's basically just checking to make sure everything's safe yeah. and um, appropriate for road use and that as well. Um, it's usually more in depth than an MIT as yeah, well. Okay. Um, just things like lights, stuff to make sure everything's working, suspension, tyres, brakes, um, and obviously we're also replacing all the engine oils and yeah. uh, oil filter and any other filters that are due to the service with more. We're driving it to France next week, so it's a pretty good time and we can just check yeah, everything definitely. sort of Get running well. Done. And yeah, yeah, definitely. Awesome. Yeah, it will help for a good refresh on it. Perfect. So, yeah. Sounds good. So, um, I think we'll let, leave Tom to crack on now and then we'll pick it up in a second once it's all done and we've um, got more of an understanding. Perfect. We'll go from there. Nice one. Thank, oh, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. So filming for this YouTube channel was just very, very helpful because when Tom did the light washers, I don't know if you saw that clip, but literally a flood came out of it and there's like washer fluid all over the floor. So because I was filming it, I managed to show it to him because he was in the car and now he's gonna look into that. But how funny, I literally was, I saw it and I was like, um, why is there so much blue leaking out of the car? And I just happened to be filming a clip at that time. So thanks to you guys, I may have found something wrong with the car. <laughs> It's actually a couple of hours later now and we went home, got a bit of lunch. Am I in focus? It's very dark. That's better. So Range Rover over there, parked up. Hopefully all is good. We got a text from the guys here and they said um, they're finished and we can come and collect. So let's head inside now, see what we're dealing with, see what the situation is after the vehicle check. Um, I'm excited to drive it again after the um, oil change. I'm more excited about the um, wheel alignment because I think it's going to feel very different to drive um, because it's been a little bit drifting all over the place. So just here with Tom, he's just finished off the service. How did it go? Yeah, it's all right. Plan, yeah? yeah, pretty cool. good. Awesome. Um, Anything come up on there's the... There's only a couple of little things okay. that um, have come up. Yeah. Um, there's a slight oil leak, yeah. ever so slight, but it's very minor. It doesn't yeah. look like it's been leaking a lot. Cool. Um, and also, again, that offside rear caliper had yeah. a little bit of the play. I think Mina spoke to you about yeah, that. Um, yeah. And then also there's a split pipe on under the um, behind the bumper. For, that was, that the, was the blue, yeah, coming yeah. out. So, yeah, uh, that cool. would be required to be fixed, but it's not affecting the operation of the yeah. headlights at all. So okay. and that's a bumper off job, is yeah, that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Maybe next time. Um, other than that, no. Uh, done all your fluids for you. Perfect. Uh, change your oil, oil filter as well. Awesome. And, um, air filter, fuel filter. Uh, and the cabin filter as well. Okay. So that was uh, quite dirty, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they told you, but the last uh, service in the book was 130,000 miles, so I don't think it's been touched yes. for that long. Yes, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw the mileage has changed quite a bit, so. Yeah, um, really needed it, so nice other one. Other no, it's been fully refreshed. Your tyres are all on about six mil all round, so they're good yeah. and road legal. Your brakes are all also in good working order. Brilliant, thanks yeah. so much. No cool, problem. nice one, and thanks for featuring on the channel as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah, no problem. Awesome. <laughs> Right, successful day. It's so nice having a garage that you can really chat to and it feels like they're not gonna try and rip you off. It's not like 
they're trying to oversell things they're just sort of saying it as it is and it's just a really nice sort of feeling from there so if you're local and you're looking for a garage highly recommend motor sense it's opposite where if you live in the area where the tip entrance used to be so it's on that little industrial estate and it's great timing just to get the car looked over before the france trip and to have the oil changed so it feels good to have had that all checked over and um, finally had the oil replaced finally got a stamp in the book which means that we can start to slowly build up the service history again because as we said it disappears after a 130 and um, that's literally the last stamp let me find it i mean it's had quite a few services to be fair but just this huge gap so yeah so here we go, 127,000, 169,000. So it's quite a gap there, but it's good. We're starting it up again and hopefully there'll be many a mile done and many a stamp put in this book in the future. And we also figured if at some point we want to sell it or we want to upgrade it or get something a bit different, it's great to have the service picked up just so that the next person can have some sort of faith in knowing that it's been looked after, even if there's a little bit of a gap. So um. I'm glad we got that all sorted but I am going to end this video off here so if you enjoyed it don't forget to smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you're new to this channel and like I said comment below any advice you have for our road trip I'm very excited for this it might be the next video it might be the one after I know I said I was going to do the start stop button as the next video that is coming very very soon I just haven't had a chance yet and we had this booked in before so I thought I'd film a video of the service today and it was great to that the guys here let me in the workshop and I could really sort of have a look underneath the car and I mean you don't often get to see the underneath of your car on a regular day so it was great for us to be able to see that thank you so much for watching the video today and i'll see you very soon in the next one goodbye Ooh, just a very quick note coming in at the end of this video that uh, tracking has made a difference wow it feels so much more responsive i feel like i've not been driving this car and i've just started again that's crazy wow it's so much better man that made such a difference okay i'm actually going now see you in the next one